Before I begin, yes, you read that title correctly. Yes, I'm being completely serious. And yes, I'll say it again here just to be certain you know what you're getting into. Spike could very well become Equestria's equivalent of Superman and or Goku. A bold statement for sure, and looking at Spike as he is now, it's kind of hard to see the comparison. However, once you start listing the similarities, particularly with their backstories, you may start to see more of a resemblance. Let's begin with Superman and Goku. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone who has never heard of either of these legendary heroes of comics, television, and film, and they've certainly left quite an impact over the decades. Their stories begin at a very young age, outsiders raised by another race, capable of amazing feats due to their alien nature, taught to cherish friendship, standing for good morals, understanding that might doesn't make right, disassociating themselves from their own race and what they stood for, since some of the Kryptonians, and especially the Saiyans, would have destroyed slash enslaved the human population if they'd been given the chance. Now, let us compare what we know of Spike's backstory. He is an outsider raised by another race, capable of amazing things due to his alien nature, and ultimately cherishes friendship above all else. And even after meeting with other dragons, he decided to count himself amongst pony kind not wanting to associate with his own race and what they stood for. So, the comparisons are actually more intriguing than what we might have thought at first. Still, it's quite a stretch to think that Spike could one day become Equestria's equivalent of Superman or Goku. But then again, maybe not. After all, it's very apparent what Spike wants to be when he grows up. His daydreaming during a dog and pony show shows his aspirations to become a hero fighting off the bad guys while saving those who are in distress. And this was reinforced during Do Princess's Dream of Magic Sheep when given the opportunity to literally become anything he wants, he chooses a valiant knight atop a mighty steed. You may call it wishful thinking on his part, but even his everyday hobbies are pointing in this direction. Power Ponies introduced his love of comics, which considering his own backstory makes this hobby of his quite intriguing and it was made very apparent how much he respects superheroes and wants to emulate their example. Even when he ended up as the sidekick, his greatest wish was to have a purpose in saving the day. But even if we look at all these similarities and aspirations, exactly how could Spike become the savior slash guardian of Equestria the way Superman and Goku have in their respective worlds? Well, for starters, he's a dragon. As much as ponies have shaped their environment in fantastic ways, the average pony simply does not compare to the average dragon. As insignificant as Spike seems now, we already know what he's capable of once fully grown. But even beyond that, I think it's safe to assume that dragons live a fair bit longer than ponies. And we've already been told that even as an alicorn, Twilight will not outlive her friends. So, let's propose the idea that Spike would grow up to become the Guardian of Equestria, possibly the successor to the Elements of Harmony or Rainbow Power, perhaps even teaching other ponies beyond the main six about what it takes to be a hero in Equestria, mentoring a new generation to wield the Elements of Harmony. Does any of this sound familiar? Is it possible that Spike will one day fill this sort of role? just as Superman and Goku have before him? It may seem like a wild idea comparing this baby dragon to the Man of Steel and the tenacious Super Saiyan, but when you look at their humble beginnings, their loyalty to a higher sense of purpose, and even their potential for the future, maybe it doesn't sound quite so strange after all. What do you think? I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.